The basic sales process in SAP Business One is the movement from selling goods to delivering those goods and finally to invoicing the customer. The system conveniently stores the documents involved in this process under the sales module. Let's start with the sales quotation. The sales quotation is a useful starter document in the sales process. Let's say we entered a quotation to print out and send to one of our business partners, Andreas Ackerman. Notice this business partner is noted as a lead in the system. We want to provide a few printer options to our lead. We can determine the quantity for each item, and we can also manually add discounts that affect the unit price for each item. We also have the ability to add a discount that will affect the document total. When our lead is interested in making a purchase, we can copy the sales quotation to a sales order using the copy to function. Our lead said they only want to purchase the first two items and that they only want two of each. These changes can easily be made on the sales order. We can also remove the document total discount since we were only offering it if the lead decided to buy all the items we quoted to them. Now that the sale has been made, we can open up the business partner record and convert Andreas Ackerman to a customer. Key information can be accessed easily from the sales order, like the ship to address. Click the logistics tab to view this information. You can clear out the default ship to address and then click the ellipse to manually add a one-off address directly onto the document. When the order is ready to ship out, we can use the copy to function to generate a delivery document. Up until this point, there has not been any accounting transactions behind the scenes. However, once you create the delivery document, there will be a journal entry added that will affect the appropriate inventory general ledger accounts. Many times in SAP Business One, there are multiple ways to perform an action. If we want to view the journal entry, for instance, we can right-click on the document and access it that way. Or, we can go to the Accounting tab and drill down into the journal remark. The journal entry reflects a credit to the finished goods inventory and a debit to the cost of goods sold for the value of the inventory. Once the goods are delivered to the customer, we can again conveniently use the copy to function to generate an AR invoice. The journal entry for the invoice reflects a debit to the customer receivable account and balancing credits to the revenue account and the sales tax liability if applicable. Notice how the system displays the sales documents that are related to this invoice. As we go back through this chain, notice how this is true at each document stage in the sales process, with exception to the sales quotation, since it has no preceding document. So far, we have gone through some of the main documents that can be used in the sales process. However, SAP Business One has built-in flexibility to accommodate your unique business processes and various real-world scenarios. The sales process demonstrates this because the only document that is actually required is the AR invoice. For example, let's say we want to perform a rush order to one of our highly valued customers. We can accomplish all of the necessary steps in the sales process by adding a standalone AR invoice. One of the ways you can tell an invoice stands alone is by looking again to the remarks field and seeing that it does not refer to any preceding documents. Let's add this document and open the journal entry that occurred behind the scenes. You will see that since this invoice stands by itself, not only is the appropriate customer receivable, revenue and tax liability accounts reflected, but also the necessary accounts to properly reflect the movement of your inventory. Not only is the basic sales process logical and simple to perform, it also shares the same look and feel as the purchasing process, which makes learning how to use the system easy and efficient. In the purchasing process, instead of using the sales quotation, you would use the purchase quotation. Instead of the sales order, you would use the purchase order. The same can be said for the delivery and the goods receipt PO, as well as the AR invoice and the AP invoice. The sales process is just one example of the power and simplicity of SAP Business One. And as an SAP Gold Partner, LBSI knows how to help you unlock its full potential. Visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link to get in touch with us.